Hi, I'm Matt Collins. I'd like to welcome you to Bob Weber Auto Mart on Douglas Avenue here in Racine, across from Douglas Park. We specialize in one-year-old, low mileage, almost new cars. And if you'd like to stop by and see them, or see them on our website, bobweberautomart.com, we can save you between five and ten thousand dollars on your next almost new car purchase. Welcome into another edition of Sports Junkies. Steve Sparky, Pfeiffer here from the new sound for sports in Milwaukee, baby. That's right. We're going. Oh, man. It's AM Sports Radio 1250 WSSP. Well, you knew about that. But the new sound, let me tell you about that. That is Sports Radio 1057 FM, The Fan. You'll have to check that out. Uh, as well. He, of course, is Gary Wolfel here at the Racine Journal Times, RacineSportsZone.com. His busy time of the season is starting to be right on the horizon here with Bucks basketball, but we're going to talk pack of football here today. Did you get any sleep last night after the pack of game? Yeah. It, it I sounds like feel, you are jacked up. You, I, you sound as exciting as watching hey. Justin Ponder play last night. No. <laughs> that make any sense. Yes, no. yes, it did. I, I was being cynical. You came oh. to play. He didn't come to play. No, okay? right. Exactly right. It now, was god-awful. Right. And that is why yesterday on our afternoon show I said, roll the helmets out. It's going to be that easy. Just show up. Just walk on the field. You win. It's, it's really that easy. <laughs> I said it was going to be a blowout. It was a blowout. I'm really not surprised by any of it. And you got to feel happy for a couple different individuals. Eddie Lacy goes over 100 yards. They build a game plan that actually features him running the football. Nicely done. Even though I think they were just throwing him a bone because yeah, they knew they were exactly. going to win that game regardless. Right. But either Sparks way. Sparks got like 12 carries, right? right yeah. It just tells it, it was just a throw the dog a bone type day, and we'll go back to ignoring them next week against the Dolphins. But either yeah. way. So nice game by Eddie Lacy last night. Very happy. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, to me, it just once again illustrated how you need a good quarterback in the NFL. I mean, like you he said. He threw less than 20 uh, passes, uh, what, 17 yeah, passes? Yeah, uh, as soon as Ponder walked onto the field, the game was over. Right. You know, I mean, you can just go right down the league. You can see the teams that have quarterbacks, the teams that don't have quarterbacks, and you can see where they are in the standings. I mean, it, it's a joke. It, it's become such a pass-oriented league. It really is, and they ran the football well last night. And then on the defensive side of the football, everybody going into last night was, ah, they're going to run for 200 yards. We can't stop the run. It, but when you're playing that team, it's not that difficult when you don't have a quarterback threat, like you just said. <laughs> you just run everybody up into the box, you play safety over the top of Patterson, the wide receiver for the Vikings, and they have nobody else because there is no Rudolph at tight end. And Greg Jennings, if he had 200 yards last night, so be it. But right, right. if he was going to beat me, I was okay with that. But the running game, and Patterson wasn't, and they held the running game in check like they should have, mm -hmm. and Patterson was a non-factor. Well, the uh, highlight to me was the halftime show with Bill Cowher, the former Pittsburgh Steeler coach. He came out and just ripped Zimmer and said, hey, what is he thinking? They, they got totally away from the game plan that they used the week before in which they were very successful. And it's even more so with Ponder in there. You know, they, 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 they just did not attack the Packers like they played the week before, but it wouldn't have mattered. They were going to get their butts kicked. Yeah, anyways. one was Bridgewater, one was Ponder. Correct, yeah. So you do percent. have to adjust a little bit to your quarterback. I mean, all the respect to Cowher, he went through some situations where he was without Roethlisberger. Right. But right. for the most part, he always had a really good quarterback Correct. and Big Ben to rely on. Mm -hmm. He's never been in this situation here but, but to where you're was, trying to figure yeah. it out. He always had a good defense in Pittsburgh, and he always had a solid running game. Correct. Minnesota's best running back is out, and the most talented quarterback was out. I mean, right. how, what would he see expecting Minnesota to do on offense? No, I, I, I totally agree with you. I guess from my perspective, it was actually refreshing to see a coach question another coach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you just don't see that in the no. media. You know, it's, it's like a big fraternity. Yeah, he's a great guy, great coach. You well, know. remember, too, where did Zimmer come from? Cincinnati. There Where's Cowher from? The Pittsburgh. There, yeah, a little rabbit. All there. right. Yeah, there you go. I, I just say, I, I, and I don't know if Cowher has his guys or not, but it's, it's, I, there's no way I'm ripping Zimmer. They had no chance last night. I don't care what brilliant game plan Cowher wanted him to run. They were still yeah. getting whooped. Yeah. Julius Peppers and the interception return for a touchdown. Great game, game, huh? Yeah, I thought he was going to need oxygen okay. before he got to the goal line. You? No, seriously, you thought he had a great game. Peppers? Yeah. Well, he had the interception. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I, I don't want to get down Julius Peppers, okay? But, but we did he's this. going we, to. Here, I am. The guy. Make the headline for the video now. Go ahead. <laughs> no. Did you, you obviously saw the interception, right? First yeah. of all, the ball is thrown to him. I mean, Ponder, like, handed it to him, right? Okay. So, I mean, you could have caught that pass, okay? Number one. 
Number two, did you see who he outran to the end zone? Everybody. No, he Nobody didn't. Nobody caught he him. Didn't. Exactly. Exactly. My point though is he got the ball. The only people he had to beat were 350-pound offensive linemen. There was no wide receivers, no running backs anywhere. So that. what? Okay. Very nice play. I'm giving you. Okay. Dude, now it's not like it. What, what I'm leading up to now though is. Oh boy. How many tackles do you think Peppers made last night? Oh, I, I wasn't keeping track. I have no idea. Take a guess. Three. Take another guess. Zero. Ding, ding, ding. I knew it wasn't he, Matty, otherwise zero, he would have asked. Zero tackles in that game. I know he made a very nice, I'll, I'll give him all the credit in the world for the interception. Where was he the rest of the game? Again, it didn't matter, but he, you Okay, know. so that's your complaint for the game. It's Peppers. No, I, don't, I don't have any. Okay? Complaint. There's no complaint. I, I, no, I have complaints. Yeah. So that's your complaint. Okay, here's my complaint. Okay. Why are we playing pivotal pieces to this football team in the fourth quarter of a blowout? You know, you know what? I, I totally agree. We were, Why? We were watching the game, and I said to somebody, I said, if Mike McCarthy doesn't pull Aaron Rodgers. Well, he did. In the, he had, in the fourth quarter. He, had he, he took him out right at the start. I give him credit for that. But the defensive side of the football, was Clay Matthews not in the game on the last play of the game? Oh, I know. That's, that was ridiculous. My biggest fear going into the game was one thing. Clay Matthews, right field, hamstring. My God. So once you get, to, once they got to 28 nothing, Clay, sit down. We're, we're, you're done. Go over there and rest, get some Gatorade, and chill out. Yeah. Peppers, you're done too. You can go over there and sit too. There is no reason those guys should have been in there at the end of that football game. Uh, Absolutely. Especially with a guy that has a tendency to get hurt like Clay Matthews. And, and you get know what? Out of and you can understand if there was an inexperienced defense coordinator. Oh, Cabers has been around. At, that's my point. This guy has been around the block. It, it shouldn't have came as any revelation. Yeah, they did the right the game's thing. over. On offense, they did the right thing. Janice even showed up on okay, offense but, and made a but, catch. But, that was positive. So, I mean, offense, they did the right thing. Defensively, I do not understand for the life of me why you don't get those guys out. And, 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 and we're, we're putting the blame on Capers. Or McCarthy. McCarthy should sure, be. absolutely. <laughs> I mean, McCarthy should have overruled them and right. said, hey, Dom, let's get these guys out of here. Somebody should have been paying attention. No. It was a blowout. It was over. It was their last play trying to score a meaningless touchdown. And they see Matthews in there. They bring a full house blitz. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what was so big about that. <laughs> that particular play, maybe they had the under on the game. But they, that, that was absolutely insane to me yeah, that, no, that you, he was up there. You're, you're spot on. There, there is absolutely no reason for that to occur. So now the next time they play, they get this weekend off, which is good. You know, Josh Sidden was not very happy about the fact that they played Thursday night games. He said it was Nobody a money was grab. Happy. He said it was a money grab by the NFL. Did you see all the bad games there have been now on Thursday oh, yeah. night? I mean, blowout. Yeah, they're not average, close game. Yeah, average Blown is like 31 point margin. I, I, I'm like it's, I mean, Goodell is obviously going to look at it. He's not going to change it's it. Only it's only a one year deal. Yeah, but you know what? CBS. It's a money maker. Oh, sure. You it know, is. I mean, the ratings, I guarantee you, were great for the Packer game last night. No question, because it's you the Packers. Exactly. No, I agree. So with you on the, the NFL is not going to go back. On I don't that. think so either. But either way, my point is now you get the weekend off. These guys get to recover a little bit. Mm -hmm. Boykin gets some more time to get healthy and try and get his. Uh, who? Jared Boykin, <laughs> yeah. I, speaking of who, Brad Jones. It's been real. And <laughs> Jamari Lattimore. Yeah, he played he, well. Yeah, he's legit. No, he uh, is. I, there's no reason to give Brad Jones that job back at all. Zero. Not a, not a, not a, not a reason in the world. Yeah, you know who else is actually coming around? He's finally coming around. He thought he might. Burnett. Burnett is becoming a legitimate safety. He's had some very good games this year. He's Gary Wolfel of the Racine Journal. Time Steve Sparky Fiber with a little pack of talk wow. here at RacineSportsZone.com. Peace.